Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? This is Josh, and today's toy unboxing review on Human Channel. We're going to take a look at these two cute little dolls. One is a Dunks character kit, and the other one is a character style pack. Now, before we go on with the review, I'm going to tell you that this channel is for adult characters and teenagers ages 13 up. If you're younger than 13, please watch this just to adult someone's older than you or please the channel altogether. Now, I'll do a review. Now, I got these two dolls last year at Amazon.com. I believe they're still available on now today, you know, until it's no longer making these cute dolls. They do have such potential, but unfortunately, it's still sad not to make them anymore. I already viewed one step. These dolls already. This was the um, DC 725 Girls to Start the Pack and the CS 725 Girls to. Sorry, messed up. It's the Girls to Kit DC 725 and the Girls to Start the Pack CS 725. So I messed up on that one. <laughs> now, as you see here, this doll right here is DC414 and this doll has blonde hair, brass, and thin skin. Here's what the doll looks like on the packaging. And notice that this doll has a bag with them and this is the first version of the doll. The second version of the doll did not include bags unfortunately. And here's the what this package comes with, it comes with one doll, one wig, one jacket, one shirt, one pair of pants, one skirt, one pair of shoes, oh sorry, I'm messing up. It comes with one jacket, two shirts, two pants, one skirt, three pairs of shoes, one there's sunglasses, one hat, one bag. So he's not focusing today. Okay. I think it's getting better now. And this doll is for children ages six and up, or adult characters like me, who are older than six. And here's the sad. Package is just the two characters. You can bring them into either a boy or a girl. I mean, the whole point of stance, you can make them how you want them to be. It could be boys long hair, boys short hair, girls long hair, or girls short hair. This is really nice dolls. Here's the back of the box, show you all the options you can design for your doll. And this doll was released in 2018. I mean, the packaging says T18 on it and the it's recent T19. And now I'm again take this kit down on the package. First, here's a poster to show, that shows all the style options you have for your doll. We can create more if you like. Unfortunately, to create these dolls, I'll get in the poster. I mean, the first eight dolls are better, maybe because the posters are included. And here's the back of the poster. It has a couple more time options for your doll. And here the other dolls that were released in the first wave. I have them all. And I already read this one right here. Here's the other two. There's even more dolls released in the later wave. And now, here's that. Here you go. It's cute. Go to the one down set. Now we're gonna open this doll up. Now show you guys what they come with. Okay, Jay's gonna fall out. 
here's the jig they come with. It's like aim to duck down the rig. It comes at the bottom. And now I'm gonna take out this plastic. Okay, here's other coin pieces in view. Here's a hat, three pairs of shoes, two shirts, a jacket, pants, shorts, bag, and skirt. Now I'm going to sew each piece individually. First, here's this blue cab back. Sorry, this black cowboy hat, it's a cowboy hat, it's probably for Dora, but here's a hat, black hat with tethered band on it, I like this hat. Okay, I got this box and that's better set now. Cut to the previous me. I'll go ahead and go on to show this clothes. And this shirt I hear it is a black and white type shirt with red sleeves. Hit records in the back. And here's a kind of house jacket. <laughs> okay. I see zips up in the front. See? I'm not gonna take all the up, take it super all the way down down. That's not too easy yet. It's like a real jacket. You did a good job on this. Okay, that's a good up. <laughs> What's up today? I'll just keep the hat down here. That's, it's not too difficult with me. And here's a pair of shorts with a small silver button on it. And I think it's four pockets. I'll read the real. Let me see. I don't think they are real. This is pretty tinny that they to the dark put your hands, their hands in the pocket. Here's a brown such a bag that they can use. And you can actually put things in the bag as well. Unfortunately, the second wave of these dolls didn't come with the bags anymore. That's a silly reason. Here's a Skirts. I like the design of the skirts and the pin on it. It very close all day up and down in the back. And here's another shirt. Nice print on it. The short seam shirt. It's four buttons on it. It very close in the front. Here's a pair of grey joggers with a back bands on the bottom of the legs. You just put them up and down, has a straight face on it, and does it very well. And there are also three pairs of shoes and a pair of sunglasses. I'll show you two other clothes. Here are the sunglasses, and they can be kind of fragile, it's just not taking it out of the box. And here's the first pair of shoes, it's just a pair of brown ankle boots. And the second pair of shoes is like checking sandals, and I recommend you not use these because I kind of had a hard time getting them on the dog's foot, feet actually. And a pair of 
make her that's real nice. And now I'm gonna take this cute doll out of the package and show them up close. I'll kind them and then because you can make them eat do to boil a girl. Okay, there you go. Hey dear oh uh, is it is it got that for doing? They're wearing a white undershirt. It's very close all day up and down the back. And a pair of white shorts. It can be under if you want it to be. It has a nice waistband. As you pull up on the doll. And it's set this cute doll out. They're real cute. Okay, there you go. They're real cute, as you can see. They have an interesting hairstyle with it. Going over the front, went over the side. Check out the honey ball design on their head. What do you think this look on this doll? And these dolls are Kamatovis, Clipper dolls, which means that you can take these heads off and place the heads of the Clipper doll heads if you like. And now I also have. Another doll that's similar to this one. This one is the Kirchhoff's Tartar Pack version of this doll. And this doll's number is CS414. It's also very just six and up. Six and up right here. And this doll is in a smaller box. It has a completely different outfit. I think that's in the difference with the doll as well. Here's the side of the doll. They like the design of the box. And here's the back of the box. And now I'm gonna take this doll out and show it to you guys. Okay, here they go. Here you can come. Come, come and focus. Okay, there you go. Now I got this cute doll out of the box. As you can see, there's a big difference with this doll's hairstyle and this doll's hairstyle. And the doll's hair is like, it's, it's gel, but it's hardly in gel and you can tell it's more easier than this doll. So that's doll gel on their head. And it's not as easy to style. So I'm gonna keep this one this short to hair team for seven. So I'm not gonna put the vigor on this doll. And this doll also has on a orange colored shirt and black shorts. The construction is the same. It goes the shirt very close down the back and the shorts are that's the size. And so the face paint. They are a little different. One's dark, this one has darker facial paint. This one has lighter facial paint. So they do look like two different characters if you want them to be. And let's check out the sides. The sides are the same. Although this one's more lighter and this one's more darker. And here they go on the back. On the side again, and here they are. Go come again, right here. Now, I'm show the wigs. Huh. You see, they're different. These wigs, and this wig comes with this doll, and this wig comes with this doll, and I'm seeing. I'm not seeing any difference between them. The both pink the same. So, this doll, I'm going to keep this long hair. And this doll, out uh, here, will probably have short hair. And I'd definitely like to do a paint time video with these dolls so I can make some acts close with them. As the other one, I plan on doing that in the future.
and now on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm definitely giving these cuties a 10 because they deserve more attention today. They're getting a rich material to continue making these. But there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching my review on these two Creator World dolls. If you want to see more Creator World unboxing videos, please subscribe to the channel because I have more on the way. As always, on thank you guys for watching my videos and see you next time for another unboxing review. Uh, for now.